Hey guys, welcome back to another showcase today. We're going to be doing Luca, who, despite being primarily just for effect hit rate or being like a debuffer or something like that, I'm going to be using him as a main DPS and see if he's good enough to hang out with characters like Don Hung, Clara, like, you know, these single target DPS or these main carries that you invest a lot of time into. In this case, I'm using his own light cone. I'm using Musketeer. I have his traces at about plus six. One of the main complaints I feel like I hear all the time about Luca is that if you don't run him with Kafka, he sucks ass, which is what I'm going to investigate today. So we're going to be fighting two memory of chaos floors we're gonna see how good or how bad each floor is that's gonna be it let's get into it asta luca luocha plus silver wolf all right all right all right here we go here we go all right all right no no autoing no nothing all right all right okay okay let's let's take an actual gander at how much damage this is okay so this should bleed right okay 5.6k is not bad 12,000 damage is actually not bad. I don't even, I don't, I don't think I had ultimate up yet, right? Ulti? All right, like I'll take 12,000. No, no buffs up. All right, here's my, here's my speed buff. I mean, he's probably really not that bad actually. Now that I think about it, right? So the defense reduction is there. Wait, I took a literal single target team to fight this shit. All right, I'm not gonna lie. Luca is a little lackluster. I don't even have him level 80 yet. Usually you can kind of tell though, you know what I mean? Like it should look like generally good to begin with. Defense reduction into ulti. All right, just like 17,000 damage isn't the worst, especially because like, again, like I scale off of bleeds, but 23,000 damage is also kind of good, but this is the last memory of chaos, I think, too, right? He does also just keep fucking defense reducing the enemy. Yeah, it's like, it looks so deceptive because it looks like I'm literally doing no damage, but I am. I am literally just doing damage. Like, look at that. Like, 19,000? That's pretty good, right? I'm not even on the physical set, too. I kind of expected to see, like, 40 or 50,000 on his Luka's ultimate, but it actually doesn't do that much damage. Like 19,000 plus 13,000, so like 32,000 isn't like bad numbers by any means. It's just not really what I would have expected out of a character that's like E6. Weak to that. Yeah, so like, look at that. So like, that doesn't really do anything there, does it? Holy shit, Luca is also super squishy. All right, I guess I guess it'll just come down to the, the bleeds that I can apply here. Uh, okay, I don't need to apply this. Uh, we break. He's already broken. We have the flames. We have charging. All right, here we go. Real test, real test, real check. 7,000. It looks like his actual main damage dealing source is from his is from his basic attack, right? Because that's doing like 18,000. His E is just for... Oh, so that means that he's like skill point efficient, right? Wait, that's really good then. Because that means that you're only supposed to use his like defense down like once. All right. So, I mean, like, generally speaking, I mean, especially if you have like a proper team with it. I mean, I got 30 cycles remaining with it. So, that's Luca. I just want to show off like how Luca is by himself without, you know, having like a thousand other debuffers. So that's like one fight. Let's go find another fight. Did I E6 Kafka already? Yes, sir. We're trying to see if Luke is actually good enough, even without dot characters. I have Pela to like, you know, make him do more damage. Like, you know, not everyone has Silver Wolf, so it doesn't really make sense to just test everyone with Silver Wolf. But I have Tingyun, Luocha, Luca, and Pela. I have one five star, which is like, you know, obviously one of the better ones. But like, let's see how well he does. All right, here we go. Uh, Punch this out. Okay, so I had no attack buff there. That's fine. All right, so punch. So again, I know 16,000 isn't like the most impressive thing ever, but after the bleed, I'm doing like 25K, right? Okay, we can use our ultimate too. This is also what I want to see because like the defense, the defense reduction stacks, right? So... 14,000. So obviously bleed does more against characters who have more health. So like that's more of like a healing. Oh shit. Oh my god. Small uh oh. Where's the applause? Let's see some spark. Uh oh. Wait, you have a burn on yourself. 
Target the fox! Uh, oh my god. All right, I didn't need her anyway. I didn't need her anyway. Look, this will be like a real test to see how good to see how good Luca is. Luca Tim. All right, uh, punch. Okay, so that killed. So again, like fourteen thousand. Really nothing. Uh, really nothing to scoff at. I'm only curious to see if, cause in the trial they ran Su Shang with her and that looked really good. And I'm curious if if that's what the play is. Like maybe they were trying to lead us towards that. All right, use ult. Uh, heal myself. Okay, so look, like that did 32,000 damage. So it's like, it it actually is not actually, it, it's not actually that big a deal. It's not as bad as, I, as I'm making it out to be. I think it's just harder to see right now. I literally can't see Luca's damage because it's a dot. Like, look at that. Look at that. What, 20,000 into the ultimate? All right, so if I have that defense reduction, though, I'm kind of curious how much damage I'll do after. 10, 11,000 is also kind of whatever. All right, we use skill. Oh, I don't have it. Oh, but it does so... Like, what? 29,000? We don't even have Tingu. There's just a fucking character missing here. All right, so I'm getting slapped and pounded by this fucking ugly lady over here. I have like a shit ton of skill points though, so we should be fine. That thing is bleeding. We can heal ourselves. Okay, Luca should break this guy now, right? Or not. All right, now he breaks. Yeah, I mean, I guess like for a damage dealer, it's his damage isn't quite impressive enough to justify using him but like you probably want him with a with like a like a dot team like this did 26,000 damage and that's fine but like just no debuffers right no kafka in sight his role is to look ugly hey come on man you can't okay 20,000 with physical break where is my dps luca's my dps All right, as soon as we throw this ultimate down, it's fuck, uh, it's fucking time for pound town. Okay, defense reduction. Dude, they're just all resisting. Do they just have like giga fucking... Do they have like giga effect hit or effect res? Okay, I can't use my skills, but I do have ultimate. I have max stacks on Luka. So in theory, if I S1 here, Luka should do like a billion damage. Eh, maybe not a billion. All right, once I break this, we should be fine. Yeah, like 22,000. I know it's on a break and, you know, like whatever, but defense reduction. Uh, I mean, for for a four star, I think I think Luke is good. I, I think that that damage being being able to amplify other units damage too is really, really undervalued. Like now I'm at like 16,000 damage. I get it. It's not like, you know, it's it's not Kafka. It's not, it's not, uh, you know, it's not Kafka. It's not Sila. It's not blade but and again i'm doing this with a person down i just haven't had another character for like a majority of the fights okay so eighteen thousand. so i mean like as you can see the damage on luca is like pretty decent i would say it, like it's nothing crazy to write home about my luca is one like 3100 attack 140 speed he's got about 30 effect hit rate but like not only is he a pseudo dps himself he also just has like the bleed debuff and he enhances the damage of other units with his ultimate right so i think for what it's worth luca is still pretty usable even without debuffs uh he might have to apply his own or you might need stuff like ting Yun or like you know a, a buffer to make him work well there's a bit of a misconception with this with the, the couple characters that have been released you might not actually just need debuffs for a lot of these characters sure they like they pair up well but Something that I even noticed while I was using Kafka, if you just give Kafka attack buff and damage increases, she'll just fucking kill. So like, again, this isn't a Kafka video. This is a Luka video. In any case, my concluding thoughts, I think he's pretty good. If you want to use him as a standalone, that's fine. If you want to use him as like a supportive DPS that increases single target damage when you encounter a boss, I think that's fine as well. And if you pulled for Kafka like I did, you probably got a few copies of Luka too. But in any case, guys, that's going to be it. Thank you so much. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like, comment what you think about Luka, subscribe, turn the notification bell. Thanks so much. I will see you guys on the next one. Make sure to join Discord, Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, all that jazz for when I do all my stupid shit. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye, guys.